Hello there and welcome back to the Squirrelhead YouTube channel and just to bring you obviously a little bit of breaking news in that obviously we've had uh, Martin Skirtle has now completed his move over to Fenerbahce and Jordan Ibe has now completed his move to Bournemouth in a £15 million pound move um, which is astounding me. It really is how we managed to get £15 million for that one there. Um, what are my thoughts? Let's start with Martin Skirtle. Martin Skirtle was very good. And I got nothing against the guy. I really don't have anything against the guy. You've got his comments that he made about Jurgen Klopp and stuff. Make you know, or he's his friend made about him being a dick and all that sort of stuff. But um, he was a good defender with us, mainly when he was partnered with Daniel Agger. I think I've said that in the past as well. But in the last couple of years, he was a, he was very responsible for a lot of the things that were going wrong defensively. Um, just seemed defensively inept at times. Had some really good games, but also had a lot of dire games. And it's just time to move on. I think our defence is moving on as well, obviously with Matip. Sacco coming in and being the guy that he is. Lovren also putting himself about and being very, very good for us as well. And obviously the youth options that we've got with like Thiago Lori and Joe Gomez, to mention just two. I think it was time to move Skirtle on with the age that he is. And I think we managed to get 5.5 million for that, which isn't too bad. Um, and all, obviously all I can say, nothing against the guy. Best of luck to Martin Skirtle out at Fenerbahce. Moving on to Jordan Ibe. Jordan Ibe was a bit of a surprising one at first. Like when we heard the rumours of him being um, linked with uh, a move away before we signed Sadio Mane, I was thinking, a bit of a risk. He was our only pacey player that we had last year um, after Sterling went. And he was quite good, but just wasn't wasn't developing, wasn't really producing results and stuff like that, or wasn't getting the end product that he should be having at that sort of age as well. And just wasn't developing as, as we thought he might. Um, and then obviously we got Sadio Mane and we were getting Lazar Markovic back as well. Injecting pace into those wings. It was going to be very difficult. And some of the youth guys are playing very, very well as well in pre-season right now. Never mind, you know, I think they maybe look like better prospects than Jordan I was going to be looking at his age as well. And it was probably time to move on. 15 million though is astronomical i saw something um, that said uh you're paying 7.5 million for his potential and 7.5 million for his nationality which is always the thing over in the uk is that uh, or in the bpl anyway i should say is that when you buy an english player you, you you overspend and maybe bournemouth have but i think bournemouth have got a very good player on their hands or a very good prospect anyway that they can have a better chance of developing than Liverpool do at the moment because obviously we've bought players in we've got some good very very good first teamers in like Sturridge and uh, Origi to come back up top you've got Coutinho, Firmino, Mane, Lalana possibly to fit in the first team Markovic we don't know we've got to see how pre-season goes there wouldn't really be the competitions to get Jordan Ibe that time that he needs to develop as a footballer so probably the best to actually move him on and somewhere like Bournemouth under the tutelage of Eddie Howe is probably the best place for him to go. So best of luck to Jordan and I. Just don't score against us, please. Anyway, that's all I've got for now. Anyway, if you like the video, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you later.